Hey there, this is Hill Robertson. You can find out more about me and find out some more postings at hillrobertson.com. And what I'm going to do right now is do a little YouTube video. This is going to be my first videos putting on YouTube, so it might not be perfect. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but basically what I wanted to talk about, uh, of course I want to start doing some geeky stuff because that's what I am as a total geek and love playing with this kind of nerdy stuff. So what I wanted to do is show you a little bit about uh, virtual machines as, uh, and specifically VMware, which uh, they've actually been around for quite a while. But uh, I'm running on a, on a Mac here. This is uh, OS X uh, Leopard. And what I wanted to do is show you VMware Fusion. Fusion is the uh, Mac version. You can buy uh, VMware for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Um, so in this case, it's the Mac version. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire off VMware Fusion. And, and what the idea here is, it's a, you can have a virtual PC or a virtual machine. And what happens is the software basically emulates the hardware so you can actually install regular OS's on it and it thinks that you're installing it on the hardware itself so for instance I'm going to show you a, um, a Windows XP load and it's I installed that as if it were on a real machine but actually it was just in software so the nice thing about that is I can still be running Mac OS 10 and if I need to I can run Windows now I generally don't run Windows I, I'm at all all Mac guy or Linux guy but occasionally because uh, the thing that I do for income is uh, websites I have several website companies and so the biggest thing I do is website development uh, PHP coding MySQL all kinds of coding and stuff but obviously what I need to do to test it is I need to be able to view it in all kinds of browsers under different OS's so uh, the need arises for me to run Windows uh, so that I can test things out on uh, Internet Explorer primarily. So what I do is I run my XP installation, which I've already done. I'm not going to show you how to install it, but once it's all installed, all you got to do is you run the image that you want. And you'll see in this case it pops up a window and it's going to look as if it's uh, another machine. So right there it's booting up Windows XP and look how fast it is. I'm running this on a uh, Mac Pro with 16 gigs of RAM, um, all the bells and whistles. It's a, it's a dual quad core, so it's got eight basically eight processors in there. So it's a pretty nice machine. So here we go. Now we're running Windows inside software on the Mac. <clears throat> Let's close some of these down here. Okay. So now what we want to do is if I wanted to test websites under Internet Explorer, I can just click on Internet Explorer. And there it is. So what we can do here, let's say I wanted to check out, here we'll go to my blog. And there it is. So we've got Internet Explorer right here. Now watch this. This is one really cool feature that we've got. It's called Unity. And if you go to View, Unity, then watch what's going to happen. Boom! It basically takes the regular desktop away and it makes it look like just a regular window and it makes it look kind of native to Mac OS, which is really cool because, see, I can, I can still I can feel a little bit better about it as if I'm running on OS 10 by itself and that there's no Windows running at all. So I can still run all my regular apps. So like here's uh, the Safari app. Let me drag it over here. See that? So here we are running the default browser in OS 10, which is Safari, and it looks just like this is another window there. Look at that. Isn't that cool? They can interplay together. That is really nice. And so what we can do, let's, let me show you something else cool here. We can go back to single window. All right, so now we get the whole Windows environment. Now let's say we can actually drag and drop things. So let's say this app here, uh, let's see. We can take this. We can drag it over to the desktop here, and boom, there it is. Look. It shows up right there on the Mac. So now it's back here. I'll minimize this. 
and this and there it is it's right on the native OS 10 isn't that cool and of course you can move things back as well see it says it already exists would you like to replace we're gonna say no because it's, it's already there but isn't that pretty cool so anyway that's some of the nice things you can do with virtual machines so hope you enjoyed this video you can visit me for some more geeky stuff or just uh, how to be successful on the internet at my blog hillrobertson.com until next time take care talk to you later